Okay, today we're just doing a little film showing how to change the high pressure filter on the middleweight and heavyweight range of Leyland tractors. So that's your Leyland 262, 272, 282 and also the four wheel drive variants 462, 472, 482. So we'll also cover the 285 and 2100 models. The high pressure filter that goes in this flask here filters the oil between the oil pump and the valve chest. So it's a really important filter because it stops all the muck getting into your valve chest and damaging it. So I've already removed the old filter this morning, which is here. But I'm going to run through how I've done that and I'm just going to show you the reverse procedure to put it all back in. Um, so the first important thing to note on these filters there is a valve at the end of the filter. This valve means that if the filter gets blocked, the valve opens rather than starving the uh, hydraulic system of oil, but in doing so, it lets all the dirts through. So uh, do change them. Really, when you change the back end oil, these filters won't change in. Um, so I'm going to reassemble it in reverse order. This is the, the plug that holds it all in. So what we have, we have a backup ring, which is part number AAU7171. That goes on first, it goes to the bottom, the bottom being the tapped hole. Next we have the O-ring, which is 37H8695, it goes on next. The spring will have come out with the old filter, that simply sits on top. So what so next obviously you want to put the filter in. Obviously, the filter must have this rubber o-ring on the top to seal up in the housing. Without it, I have seen you know filters without this rubber o-ring and just with a flat top, they don't do anything. So that's important. So obviously, open end up inside. That's what we're gonna do. I've already cleaned around this. But we're just going to clean inside. Obviously there needs to be no rust or anything like that up inside because it can be a pain. So what happens is the filter goes in. Now what I tend to do is smear a little bit of grease around this plug simply to stop it rusting in. Um, quite often these do rust in and they are a pain to get out. Um, but you just have to persevere with them, unfortunately. Um, so, what we'll do now is we'll pop the filter up inside. I'll pop that underneath. And then this should simply push up and in. What I'm going to do, I am just going to give it a tap with the handle of me hammer. Now there's a snap clip that goes in next. To get this out, that plug has to be raised before you can get this out. So I am just going to get a punch and just drive it up a little bit. Uh, so we can get the snap ring in. Okay, so I've got a basically a large uh, drift here. Now, it's not that um, you, it's particularly tight in the hole, you're just overcoming the seals, just pushing it up. So what you can do is push it up. You need to just push it up enough that you can get this clip here in. And obviously it's the tang down. And that pushes into a recess. Now that's gone straight in. So that's gone straight in the slot. So what there is then, there's a cover plate. Often these cover plates are missing. My cover plate's got a bolt through. Originally there were a dome bolt with a slot in. Okay, just before putting the cover plate on, the bottom here, I sometimes get some grease. Put it up 
inside around the circlip and everything in there because it has got a habit of trapping all the water and mucking it. So next time you come to get it out, it'll come out nice and easy if it's all full of uh, grease. Yeah, this plate's just to cover, just to stop the muck going inside it. it does nothing other than that. And like I said, some of them have a screw on to hold them on. A screw, you know, a screw down slot, mine just soft instead of a bolting because I've changed it. There you go. So what we'll do now is we'll just start the tractor and just check it for leaks. And there we have it, changing the high pressure filter.